If you saw the movie Stand By Me, you probably remember this scene. And if you saw the movie Crime Wave, there's a good chance you remember this one. The man who created those and other exciting moments in automotive movie history is Brian Carson, who has successfully made a living by cheating death. Recently, Brian was at Santa Fe Speedway near Chicago, Illinois, only several hours away from performing another one of his spectacular stunts, when Jan Gabriel had a chance to find out more about him and his work. Uh, if I remember correctly, from upstate New York. Born and raised in upstate, a small town called Elizabethtown near Lake Placid, where they had the Olympics. Uh, but now, for the last several years, and probably for a long time, Los Angeles is my home. Now, good stunt performers always prepare well. Tell us a little about what you've done in preparation with the car. Well, the car, basically, is you get a stock car from a local dealership or junkyard sometimes. You gut it out complete, completely from any debris that will fly. Uh, you put a lap belt in it, and then we've got a special system. We didn't want to put a roll cage in it because we want the roof to absorb the shock when, if and when it goes upside down. I got a big handle and a lot of foam padding, and I'm going to need it. Staging death-defying stunts like the ones Brian performs is a strange brew consisting of courage, luck, and forethought. And even with all of that working for you, the odds are never entirely in your favor. Mishaps like this one are constant reminders to Brian that he is indeed mortal. But tonight, as he prepares for his stunt finale at Santa Fe Speedway, he's hoping things go a little bit better. In just moments, he'll be driving his car at speeds approaching 60 miles an hour up the ramps and into a stack of junk cars, setting off a timed explosion. After what seems like an eternity, Brian is finally out of the car, and he appears to be okay. The fans love Brian, and although he's a little groggy, after a few minutes, he's ready to say a few words to them. You know, the 100 man hours and the work by Kenneth Shabbat here who worked all week on this effort and Eric Ryland to the you know, special effects crew. From the response we hear from the crowd and the heat I felt inside, I think they fired it up pretty good. Was there any one point at all, even including the landing, when you were, were you were concerned at all? Well, yeah, that harness locks you in. You can't get out until you get in and get cut out. And the car was burning. It caught a line in there. And the car was burning and they were spraying dry chemical in there. And Hey, if there wasn't any risk, it wouldn't be a stunt. And if it weren't a stunt, Brian Carson probably wouldn't be interested. Because that's the way he makes his money. The old-fashioned way. He really earns it.